Hey folks, Gaming Arth here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Mother 3. Now, this is my first Let's Play in about three years, and I apologize for not being active lately. Um, the reason for that is because I have been dealing with some personal matters for the past few years that have gotten me really busy, but I'm not going to discuss them right now, but... I felt like it would be an appropriate time to come back now because this year marks the 10 year anniversary of me making YouTube videos. And I know I haven't been making YouTube videos as of late. This isn't a career for me. This is just a side hobby that I like to do from time to time. But I wanted to come back with playing Mother 3 because Mother 3 is a very special game to me and I wanted to experience this game with you guys. And also, I intend to actually finish this game, like the previous games that I've covered on my channel, those were all just fun and games, but this one I actually intend to take seriously and finish it the whole way through. I'm not gonna ramble on for too much longer, and I'm just gonna hop into the game, alright? I've been waiting for the day I can make YouTube videos again, and today is that day. I finally have the motivation, I finally feel like doing something with my YouTube channel after years. So, without any further ado, let's dive in to Mother 3. And check this out! So we got the younger twin brother, a gentle boy. I don't know, this, this kid looks like that kid from Smash Brothers, I don't know what his name- Lucas? You can click don't care for the uh, canon names. Alright, Lucas. The older twin brother, an energetic boy. This looks like a happy family. This looks like a happy game. Klaus is the name of the old, older brother. The strong, kind, and dependable father. Flint is his name. And it looks like they're playing a game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh. All right. The beloved mother. Hinoa. Now, originally, they were gonna, for the fan translation, they were gonna rename her to Amber, but then Smash Brothers Brawl came out and then they released official names for all the characters. And Hinoa was the official name for that character in Smash Brothers. Boney. Okay. What's your favorite homemade food? Uh, for this one, I'm actually not gonna put the don't care option. Soup. I'm gonna put soup in there. What's your favorite thing? I'm, I'm gonna stick to love, honestly, yeah. For the tech speed, I'm gonna do fast. And the window color. I'm actually going to set the window color to mint. And then I'm gonna set the game. And we are... We are in. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. Lucas, how long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play! Get up already! The Dragos brought their babies over! They're really cute! Hurry up! Alright. 
I'm awake, big brother. What, what, what do you want? Okay. The same bedheaded as always. I mean, he, he looks like he is bedhead anyways with that slick haircut. He know, he know was bed. No problem here. All right. So we just have to walk downstairs. Are you planning to play in your... Okay. Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. No! Then you can play, you stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your life. Okay, mom, I, 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 will, I will change my clothes, all right. You might as well just wear your pajamas inside your clothes. I mean, it's, it, it could be more comfortable than wearing, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna elaborate any further. See the B button? Ah, I can run. The B button allows you to run. Ow! I surrender, I surrender! <laughs> Got some nut bread. I, I got nut bread for just ramming into my mom. Thank you, mom. I, f I feel bad for ramming into you. I'm sorry, mom. And here we are. Good old Nowhere Islands. We got ourselves some chickens. You awake? Uh, what, what, what about you? Stop running away! You light riser! Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Alec. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Oh, we have a whole farm. We got pigs. What the pig says next to me worries me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Moo. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'd be handy to remember that. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things about Mother everybody loves. It's got... Some witty dialogue that allows, that makes people, that gives the incentive to actually talk to everybody. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn, become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So pre please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That's what people refer to as saving. Now then. Save your game? Yes. So, we're starting off with the prologue over here. Oh! Hello, Klaus! Oh, he's ramming into a bunch of... dinosaurs. Hello? Oh. <sighs> Whew, I'm beat! I've been play fighting with the Dragos all morning! You should play too, Lucas! No! Come on, just give it a try. The Dragos are waiting. Klaus! Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Well, I mean, I ran him into... I ran into my mom, okay? Lucas, try imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold the B button for a second and then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into the Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. All right. Yes, I did that with my mom, and I got some nut bread. Yes, just like that. Now, it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. All right, then. Will this guy give me nut bread? You'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. All right. BAM! The harder you run into them, the more the Dragos like it! Move out of the way! Out of the way! Make way for the Great Mole Cricket! Oh, hey there. I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! And here we go, our first battle. You encounter the Mole Cricket. All right, let's give this guy a good bash in Klaus. You also do the same. Bam, nine, used, the Mole Cricket used a biting attack. Hey, that's my big brother. Oh, well, now we have the same HP, so. That's 10 HP for both of us. Three HP, okay, Lucas seems to have a little bit better defense. Klaus, and the Mole Cricket surrendered. You won! 
Lucas and company earn two experience points. You're gonna wipe the floor with all of- <laughs> You got beaten by two ten-year-old kids. I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the Big Mole Cricket Hall Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. You, you had the audacity to call us bro even though we won't. <laughs> okay. Okay. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made you your favorite, boys. Soup! Woo! Lunch! Lunch! Soup! Ah. Uh, could go for some soup! You too, Dad. Now then. Oh. Listen, folks. Here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. Yeah, yeah, we get it, old man. Alright. Hey, wait for me! You saved me some soup, too, I hope! Hmm, we're just chilling. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh! Soup? Then your favorite is the same as ours. We make a good match! That's, that's your mom you're speaking to. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Hmm. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it here on their own. It's that safe. Yeah, it did seem safe. I bet you could handle it, Lucas. Ha 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 ha. You, are, you, are you implying that I'm weak or something? Are you implying I'm, I'm, I'm a, a bit of a baby? I can prove you wrong, Alec. I'm a little hurt. No, I'm not, I'm not hurt. He's my grandfather. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled. But neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long. But we should be home by this evening. I'd forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmeli Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so that we can all come here as a family. Claus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite soup right away. With love, your dearest Hinawa. Okay, the music is getting demented. The heck? begin.
Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Flint! 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 It's a fire! A fire! A fire! The Sunshine Forest is on fire! In a huge, fiery, flamey fire! You gotta do something quick, Flint! It's the forest! The forest! The forest! The forest on something is on fire! The forest is on fire! Jeez, who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Ah! The doorknob! Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Oh! You just threw the doorknob! Ah, doorknob! I, I, I mean Flint! There's no time to be dozing off! There's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest! I wasn't dozing off anyway. Uh, bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you! Please come, Flint! Please! No! I'm not coming! Then I'll just have to drag you there myself! Thomas, join your party. Well, if you're gonna drag me there myself, then you have to. I'll follow behind you. What? what? What's so wrong with that? I like to- I, I happen to like following behind people. Well, I mean, aren't you the one that has to get me there myself? He's hiding something behind his doghouse. What is it? I got a stick! Hey, Flint! That stick could make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding it on make will make it as useful as caramel. Okay. Even though the game is where Lucas came from and Lucas is in Smash Brothers, we're not playing as him. We're playing as his dad, Flint. I hope he got the letter, though. Hey, what do you what do you have to say? Ah, Flint. The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke! Alright, let's let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay, we live in a whole town? Okay. Alright, what? If the forest catches on fire, Klaus and Lucas and Hinoa will be stuck out there. The, the sunshine fire? It's on forest! Oh, no, no, wait! The funshine sorest is on tire! Hmm, that, that, that doesn't sound right, buddy. <laughs> okay. Ah, Flint! So the Sunshine Forest is on fire? Uh, shall I maybe give you a hand, too? Yes, you should! Ah, wait, uh, I'm, I'm pretty busy, you know? No, I mean, uh, you know how it is. Oh, sorry, I'll leave everything to you. Okay. You're, you're, t you're too busy watching the world burn in front of your eyes? Thomas! What are you running around acting like a siren for? Honestly, now! You better not cause too much trouble for Flint. Oh, he's causing me a ton of trouble. They're saying the Sunshine Forest is on fire. If that's true, we better get our butts out of here before the fire engulfs our village, too. And what do you have to say, Big Mouth? Mr. Flint? You should probably take whatever Thomas ta says with a grain of salt. That's just the kind of person he is. If that's the case, there's probably no fire. I'm running back! I'm not gonna run back. If you ever need something from the map loving and map owning maps, and it must be a map, yes. Please feel free to take one with you. And I got a map of Tasmili Village. You're worried about lighters shack deep inside Sunshine Forest, yes. I marked that area on the map for you. And the map has been marked, and uh, with that, forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? How do I put this? Fill your right index finger with a wish, or strength. I guess you do something. R, okay, yeah. Just like that, we have access to our map. There we go, and seeing where that circle is, that's where we need to go. Hey, yo, what the hell are you doing? Okay, so that's where the ringing has come from. Hey, leader, can you see the fire from there? Hey, I said, I see he's as non-talkative as ever. Wait, does the pigeon actually say it? Is... Chirp, chirp, sparrow advice. For a little bit, I'm gonna use game lingo rather than comparisons. You can bring up the menu by pressing start. Okay, okay, so that's how you use, okay. Yeah, okay, shut up. Shut up. Stop yapping, guy. No, 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 I don't wanna, no! Many, many minutes later. Thank you very much. For nothing. 
Okay, and now now we just gotta run our way. I'm not talking to that other spare. Oh, what the hell? What the heck is this? Hey, may the forest and the people and the animals and I have all happiness. Oh, Flint, good to see you here. I think it's only proper to offer a prayer here before going into the forest. All right then. I'm. I don't know what religion is. I uh, is it is it. Tasmillism? Happyism? Please answer with a calm mind. The, please tell me. Okay, the person playing the game. I'm not gaming, Arth. I'm I'm gonna be a little bit personal here. I'm Arth. All right. You can call me Arth. All right. I I wouldn't mind if you call me Gaming Arth or Arth or Daddy. Don't call me late for dinner though. Your name is Arth, correct? Yeah, it is. Okay, then, please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you will forget you were ever asked that question. Three, two, one. Have you forgotten? No, I haven't. You must forget. Flint, thank heavens you're here. I think Lightyear and Fuel are still stuck inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubberneckers. Who the heck uses rubberneckers as a term? When, when was this game? Oh yeah, it was made in 2006. But I don't think people were saying rubberneckers in 2006. Oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. The smoke is terrible, and with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further, so you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please, let it be of use. Well, if you say it's not that delicious, it's not gonna make me want to eat it, but, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. Let me, let me equip my stick. It boosts the offense by two point. Better than nothing. Let me turn down my microphone so you can hear the battle theme. It's the Batman theme. That's what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of licensed music music uh, samples that have been used in Mother 3. All right, there we go. But li like I was saying, there's a lot of musical samples in both Mother 3 and the Earthbound series, which is with this uh, what this game is part of. And uh, okay, ooh, we're in a hot tub, just like that. Relaxing in the hot spring made everyone in Flint's party feel alive. Yeah. So the hot tub, checking our status, it recovers all of your HP, just like that. And uh, let me let me see what's in here. All right, other, that boosts our defense up by three. Okay, what, what do you have to say? Where could Isaac be? I don't know, man, you're not at the right place and, oh. Okay, got that over with. Now we continue running over here. Okay, okay, it's red. It's it's hot. It's getting hot in here. Okay. Uh, hey! You're telling me Flint takes damage, but Thomas doesn't? What do you mean he, we have to take everything he says with a grain of salt? He's more durable than Flint. He's fireproof. Oh. Okay, I will, I will keep my mouth shut. Oh, and that pig dude is fireproof, too. All right. Let's, uh, run over. The flames are so intense that you can't get- okay. Thanks a lot. What's- what's in this thingy? A metal box-like object is- and there's nothing even in there. Okay. Let's keep run- what is it? Oh. oh! Okay. When it's green, it means- okay, you snuck up on a Yama monster. Alright. That means... Thomas is sounding his siren. All right, there we go. Now you're out. All right, so green means you attack from behind and you have the upper hand in that. Okay, there's a... Okay, I got food. That's nice. So whenever you get a green... And it's not green. But when you do get a green, it does mean that you um, get the upper hand in battle. Oh, yeah, and th there's another thing about this game is that there's a... Rhythmic battle system where if you tune the hits to the A button with the music Then you can actually sync it up and get multiple hits on an enemy And I leveled up right there just as I was telling you how to do that continue 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 continue. Oh, oh 
It's a it's a dude lighter. Hey, lighter. You all right? I don't know. He doesn't seem all right. Uh, he's he's lying down, eyes closed, and everything. And there's fuck Flint. Oh, and Thomas. Damn it. <laughs> I try to beat these things up, but more just keep them coming. I can't get past them. <laughs> <laughs> Who the heck are you? Is that a fly? What is that thing? A bug? <laughs> Don't know. They're going around the forest lighting fires. But never mind that. Fuel's still at home. What? Fuel's in your shack? Flint, you gotta help fuel. I'll look after lighter. All right then. Looks like I'm on my own. You've never seen a bug like this before. And continuing. What the heck? What are y'all doing? Uh, they're moving places. Oh, I have to fight them all. Fireflies? Why do I have to fight the fireflies? They're firefly. Oh, I forgot. Flint has his own special moves. All right, let's hit him with a power smash. Dang, these fireflies do damage. 174! Okay, I'm doing that again. Wow. 174 damage. 100! Okay, I should have been doing power smashes this whole time. There's like no PP that goes into that. I, I take that back. That was a terrible move. And he breathed fire. The fire did 4 damage. That doesn't seem right. Okay. Fired up and charged. Yeah, I'm, I'm, ju I'm just gonna do the traditional way of beating up a firefly. Okay, there we go. Easy. Nut bread. Oh, I use nut bread and I gain nut bread. That's, that's some nice return on investment right there. Uh oh, there's a, there's a mouse in there. There's some fireproof mouse in there. You could probably bust it open by ramming into it. All right. Hang in there, fuel! Flint's coming! Oh. Are you... Who are you? Are you not an enemy? Get over here! No problem here. Uh, okay then. I will not bother to fight. Or I will! I will still bother to fight. A flying mouse suddenly attacked. Let's hit him up. With a power smash! Did a combo attack. Ouchie. Okay, that's not good. Power smash! Yikes. Okay, let me, uh, let me heal up with some nut bread. That's poofing out its hair to look threat. Ew, that's gross. I don't see mice doing that too much. I mean, what the heck? And I get hit with that. I'm gonna eat a nut cookie. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, uh, okay, the nut cookie is actually decent. Let us hit him with a power smash! Biting attack. Oh, come on. Oh! Why did I waste my turns doing power smashes? I, I feel like an idiot now. And I'm level 9, just like that. Okay, now we can continue... Because pest control just did his job. Oh my god, fuel, no! What's he doing over there? Okay, gotta, gotta get it out of here. A fallen support beam is blocking the way. Bam! I feel like a superhero. Mr. Flint! You took fuel into your care. Nice! We just saved a child. Almost. We're about to save a child. And, uh-oh. Get, get out! Get out of the house! What are you doing? Don't just stand there! There we go! Now we saved a child! I feel like Spider-Man after doing that! Good old Spider-Cowboy Flint here to save the day. Wah! I'm pitch black and covered in suit, but I'm alive! Oh, you're pitch black too, Mr. Flint! Thank you, P Mr. Pitch Black Flint! Thank you so, so much, Mr. Pitch Black Flint! Oh yeah, we need to let my dad know that I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. 
Ah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not touching. Okay, I can take care of this. This is fine. This is totally fine. Fuel is hiding behind Flint. Aw, okay. He really trusts me. That's cute. There's always those cute little details in there. Even for characters that are not intended to stick with you for too long. Yama monster attacks. Oh, and he even heals you too. That's cute. Alright. 26 experience. Let, we gotta keep running. We gotta keep running. We gotta keep running. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay come on, come on. Is there... Wrong exit! Okay. Ouch! Damn, even fuel is... Even fuel is fireproof. Well, to be fair, with a name like Fuel, I would expect him to be fireproof. All right. Let's take a bath, because that way we will not be covered in suit anymore, and we will be fully replenished in health. Oh. Okay, our faces are covered in suit, but we're, we're, we're still golden. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, get out of my way. There's so many trees here. Okay, to be fair, it is a forest. It does make sense. There would be a lot of trees in here. That tall dude is still ringing the bell. Dad! Oh, no. He's all... That voice. Is that you, Fuel? You're all right. What the... What in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in suit. Well, my... His head is covered in suit. What about you, Dad? You busted your leg. Oh, this? This ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist this like so, and then do this, and then... Ow, 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 concern it. Boss, what in the world are you doing? Fixing my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyway, we sure are lucky. Flint showed up when he did. Yeah, he and Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. Thanks, Flint. Guess I showed my not-too-tough side, huh? I owe you for today. Hey, you're still tough either way. I think this could be the first time I ever heard the boss thank anyone. You're right! The only thing that could make this any stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. You were saying... We do know our cliches, and now, and now it's starting to rain. Thanks, Ed. Let's just hope this rain puts out the fire. Logic! We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. It's raining all over Tasmili Village. There you are, Flint. You're all patched up now. I mean, I don't look like I need any patching, but thank you. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. It's been a while since Taz Millie last had rain. Flint, please get some nice rest. Are you okay? Flint, did you see anything else in the fire besides those weird bugs? I'm talking about some suspicious people with pig-like masks on. Those despicable people. They turn the forest pitch black. And you, Flint, you, you wound up pitch black too. You should get some rest now, Dad. Oh, yeah. You, you were pitch black too, Few. Come on, Dad, you really need to rest now. I pray for this dude's speedy recovery. When are Hinawa and the others coming back? The forest, like, it's now... Won't the way back be dangerous? I don't know about that. Isaac said he was going into the mountains to pick mushrooms. I hope he's alright. Helping out others, being helped by others. Well, how do you like it, Flint? I don't know, I like it a lot. Alright. 
How are you today? Oh, my husband is such a wimp, he was a nervous wreck during the fire. I was worried about him more than the fire! Well, that's... that's dandy. Cheers to this rain for putting out the fire, yeah. Hopefully it did. Uh, hey there, Flint, sorry I wasn't much help earlier, but if something ever happens again, I promise I'll help out. You must be tired, you should get some rest. The room on the farthest end is unoccupied. Well, at least he apologized that he couldn't help. Oh, there's a gift in here. Flint got an antidote. Let's take a quick rest. Nighty night. And we are healed up. Ready to go, fully revitalized. You don't need a hot tub to do that. Just a quick bed or a hot tub is enough to get you revitalized. Okay, I, I know what you said. But thank, thank you for mentioning that. Flint! Perfect timing. I heard you were taking a rest here. Mighty heavy rain, isn't it? Think I'll join you in the awning. Think I'll join you under the awning. Flint, tell me. Have you seen Hinawa and the kids? Ah, uh, no, I haven't. I see. I just gotten a letter from them. Actually, I was up in the mountains earlier picking mushrooms. While I was up there, I caught a sight of Hinoa. Then, while I was taking a break by the river, I heard loud roars far off in the distance. It sounded like it might have been a drago that was roaring. Hmm. After that, I heard what I think might have been screams. Uh, from the drago or from Hinoa? Say, Flint. Hinawa and the kids made it back home, right? I I hope so too. Um. Okay, you're you're, you're just gonna say the same thing. Okay. I don't know. Um, Boney, are you okay? Let me let me check on Boney. Is he doing all right? Boney, Boney. Good boy. Okay, Boney's doing fine. Oh. There's a birdie over here. Oh, now I get the letter. Okay, I thought I already got it. It's a letter from Hinoa. Soup right away. With love, your dearest Hinoa. And now Flint actually reads the note. Oh, they're still not back? With all this rain, they could catch cold. I'll go find them. They're probably taking shelter from the rain somewhere. It's getting late, so we should all go look for them. Let's get the other villages to help, too. Okay, I'll go tell my dad, then. It's the first time he's probably heard from Hinawa in years. <laughs> Please take me with you. I'm sure I'll be helpful. Take Boney with you? Yes, we'll take him with him. <laughs> Yay! And it's the classic jingle of the Earthbound joining your party sound effect. Boney, join your party. And let's go! We are off to find our family. Where do they go? Okay. Oh, and he's rolling. And he's got the siren. Bro, chill out! The fire is over! Get over here! What is it? This is bad, real bad. You know, and the kids still aren't back. Hold on, hold on. I'll check on them. Looks like everyone went to the prayer sanctuary. I really want to help you out. Honest. <gasps> I'm totally just the guy to help you out. Oh, and he went away. I guess we're gonna go to the pray the prayer sanctuary. Which? Wait. Let me let me let me, uh, let me check the map. Okay, the prayer sanctuary is actually- wait, what? He went to the opposite direction of where it's supposed- okay, never mind. I'm still gonna go to where the- 
Oh, hey there. What are you doing here? Hello? Hello? Okay, he just puts on his gla- Okay, this guy is standing still. Flint got a nut. Okay, that's a nut. All right, then. I think you can make some bread out of that. Hey, there. New characters. Oh, there you are, Flint. I asked everyone to split up and search the forest for Hinoa. You've been blessed with kind friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. It is true happiness to have good friends. Believe me. Hey there. I'd like to join in the search, but they told me to stay here because I'm old. Seems like nobody's aware of just how strong I really am. Uh, okay. I'll, t I'll take your word for it, buddy. What do you have to say? Hinoa promised she'd teach me how to make some delicious soup. Oh, I wish I had some soup right now. Mr. Batty blocked the way. Now this time we got Boney. Bart, bart, bart. And just like that, we took it with no damage. Oh, and the other one joins along. Okay, we got a tag team here. Now we can we can take on. Oh, he became friendly and affectionate. Wow, becoming affectionate makes somebody numb. I mean, whenever I have a crush on somebody, my body doesn't become all. Not that I've ever had a crush on anybody. I I I don't. I. I'll keep that to myself. All right. And we got a mighty bitey snake. Bark. Okay. The snake used a but. Oh, okay. That's actually not that bad. I, I heard snakes do much worse than that, but not this snake. This snake is piddly. And he left an antidote. I have three antidotes. One from the present, one from... I'm gonna skip all of y'all. It's not like I need that experience. I'm a warrior, all right? No pro... Let's open this. I got a mini, mini charm. No, it's it goes on... Oh, it just goes on body. Okay, now we are fully equipped. Just like that. What's going on over here? Oh, there's a whole tree that got down here. What do you mean no pro- There's a whole tree that fell. What do you have to say? I can't believe my eyes. Just look at this, Flint. These huge trees were snapped right in two. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that they are falling apart. How could such big trees get ripped down like this? There's one thing for sure, whatever did this, it wasn't human. And no, it wasn't me. Who the heck asked? <laughs> what do we do now? They have the path completely blocked. Actually, Hino and the kids might still be stuck out there. Because of all these knockdown trees blocking the way. Well, okay then. Even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. It's probably best if we split up into a few groups. You're right. Hey! Have you found Hinoa and the kids? Lighter! Are you sure you're good in good enough shape to be out here? I'm always in good enough shape. Don't treat me like some injured clod. Well, you were injured one day ago, but looks like he is... Healthy and alive and kicking. We'll take care of things here. You keep pushing along, Flint. These two are always together. We still haven't found Hinoa or the kids. There's no problem here. The fact that we haven't found them is a pretty huge problem if you ask me. Okay, that okay. You're not you're not Abbott and Costello, even though you share their names. No problem here. All the forest critters are acting weird, and I'm suddenly getting real bad vibes here. Oh no, I mean that in a good way. What I meant to see, I'm getting good bad vibes, if that makes sense. Good bad vibes. Yeah, it's just a guess, but I'd say a Drago climbed up from here. But I thought Dragos were friendly. They're... they're is this their revenge for us whacking on them? See those claw marks? Those most certainly belong to a Drago. 
why would a drago claw at stuff like this? Even enough to leave gashes at a rock, they're such peaceful creatures. That's what I thought too. I get the feeling something very bad is happening to the forest. The people, the animals, and me. Yeah. There was a forest fire earlier. Let's... Oh! Boney. Boney's got something. What is it, Boney? Flint! I think Boney's found something. He's digging it. Or he's, he's just scratching the surface. He's howling. Okay. Oh! Look up there! There's a scrap of cloth! Don't you see it? It's a bit- there's a bit of red right over there. Oh my god! This is, uh, okay. Who is- is that Hina was? What is it? There's something on the top of this cliff? Old man Wes, what do you do- why do you gotta call him an old man? Sorry to say this, but there's nothing a rickety old man can do to help us out. Don't just insult him for his age. Oh, Flint. Don't tell me you intend to climb this cliff. I know how you feel, but scaring, scaling this cliff face is too dangerous. But, you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it will help any, but let's get him so he can try. Your son? I need to borrow Boney for a bit. Okay. Alright, Boney is stepping up. Boney, bring my son back here. My son's name is... Alright, now we get to name a strange but nice guy with unexpected skills. His name is Duster. His name is Duster. Got that? Here, have a sniff of this suck. Yeah, that's right. Don't forget this smell now. Yeah, that's ripe, all right. Oh, and it's you put that as my bandana. Okay, okay, it's a yellow ribbon. Never mind. I tied a yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon, and he'll know exactly what's going on. Now, bitch! Who can count on me? Here we go, and Boney is off. Running through the forest. Go, 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 Boney, go! Come on. You got this. You got this. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, get a sniff, get a whiff, and we're off. He lives in a shed. I feel bad for Duster already. No time to be sleeping, Duster. Come on. Wake up, buddy. Duster is on a deep snooze right now. And he's still... Oh my god, Boney. Boney is a champion. Dragging Duster across like that. In the rain. And he's awake. There we go. And he's limping. My god. Your son is a... <laughs> His leg is not really good. Duster, at long last, you find it's time to put your thief skills you studied since childhood to the test. Now show us your wild staple technique. Right here, right now. I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. Here we go. Demonstrate the wall staples. This area looks scalable here. Super wall staple skills! And just like that, we have ourselves a makeshift ladder. Thank you, Duster. All right, that should do it. Flint, be careful coming up. All right, I will. Tip my hat, and upward we go. The rain has stopped, just like that. I have a slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Please take me with you. Hey, Duster joined the party. See? Take a look at that, Mr. Purple Hair. 
from the f the the bar or the hotel. It's the same color as Hina was. Oh oh. Got a scrap of cloth. You see that? He's still willing to help us even though he has a slight handicap. Now that's dedication right there. Hey Flynn, there's someone here. Oh, it's those pig mask freaks that were there. What are those? Are they human? Uh... They seem to be people in constant... What are they doing? They are... It looks like... They are resurrecting... A dead deer... And turning him into a robot. Uh, what are you doing? And they're doing... What the heck? Uh-oh. And we are fighting a reconstructed caribou. Okay, we need to hit him up with a power smash. Duster, wall staples, I, uh, yeah, let's wall staple him, bony, bark, throw wall staples, and he's pinned down just like that, put all of his strength, BAM, SMASH, it's satisfying when you get a SMASH, it's, it's a powerful, it's a powerful hit, that's what it is, kick, let's give a kick, and sniff, Sniff the reconstructed caribou. Smells weak against lightning and numbness. Okay, so Boney sniffs out the weakness. And, uh, okay. Let's give him another power smash. Give him another kick. We're just gonna just... We're just gonna rail on him. Intense burst of steam. Smash! Staple him down to the ground. Okay. There we go. Bony, you get him. And put all the strength. And another smash! He's getting consistently good at it. I know it has a slight chance of missing, but for some reason, we're, we're, just, we're just good at this game. This is... And I probably should have kicked with Duster. Uh... No, kick, kick. We gotta deal as much damage as we can. And he broke free out of the wall. He went berserk. Okay, he damaged all of them. That's that's no good. Okay, uh, power smash, wall staple, and uh oh, Bony has five HP, and it doesn't matter. We still beat him. We still beat him anyway. The reconstructed caribou stopped moving, and we win. A hundred and twelve experience points. Boney almost died there. We That is not good. We cannot let the dog die. We can let the humans die, but we can't let the dog die. That's just cruel. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose-like mark on the cover. Give it a read. Flint picked up the notebook and read it. It's written in poor handwriting. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. And we got the notebook. These pig mask weirdos have a very bad vision for the world. It is very, oh, and we have their big ship. Hey, where are you going? Come back. And the cliff has crumbled. Looks like we're gonna have to go back. Hopefully, the tree is fixed. Actually, wait, let's, uh, let's... 40 HP! Use it on... Yeah, Boney needs that a lot. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go. Oh, Flint and Duster, I'm so glad you're all right. We cleared those big trees out of the way, so everyone has gone up ahead. We couldn't have done it without Lighter and Isaac's help. Yeah. What about you, old man? I'm glad the thief arts proved useful, but our problem still hasn't been solved. No, it hasn't. Alright, keep going. Flint! 
We found the kids. It seems they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Boney. You just hurry and see him. Come, Boney. Oh, thank you, Boney. You've been a good boy. Good boy. All right, it's just me and Duster. Uh, for, for somebody with a slight handicap, Duster seems to run pretty fast. I'm sure Hinawa is taking shelter from the rain somewhere. The forest would never do anything to hurt the people of Tasmili Village. If anyone dares to hurt Inua, I'll kick their butts even if it's a pile bug or an ant. No mercy, basically. I respect Lou and Bud's dedication to us. Oh, Flint! Duster! This way! This way! Oh, this guy's name is Abbott, too. Oh my god. Oh! Is that the- is that our boys? It looks like our boys are safe. Uh, it's burning intensely. Hey, Isaac, what's going on here? That looks like our boys' clothes on the right. Wh what's going on here? Dad. My boys. They're alive. I made some tea in it, Flint. Please have some. It will warm you up. Here, everyone should take a break and get warm, too. Our little boys are shivering over here. Flint! What do you got to say? Flint, I'm not sure what to say, but just stay calm and hear me out. I have good news, and I have bad news. Which do you want to hear first? No. Let me start with the good news first. I picked up a giant drago fang. It'll make for a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. What's... what else? As for the bad news... The bad news is, it's where I found the Drago Fang. It was in your. It was pierced through your wife's heart. Flint. Just stri try to stay calm. I think the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe now is because Hinawa risked her life to protect them. Flint. Uh-oh. Flint? Flint, I'm not sure what to say. Please try to pull yourself together. With... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. This is not good. Flint! What are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching! Whew. Okay.
No one's ever been thrown in Tazmilly's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Flint. You gave Ollie and Abbott a real walloping, but they're all right now. About Hinoa. I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. The Drago Fang that was stuck in Hinoa's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come drop by my house and get it. Don't forget now. Wow. Rest in peace, Mom. I'm locked, but... Oh! Dad, it's me, Klaus! I told Lucas to come too, but he's been crying at Mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but the core... The core might be too hard to eat, but be sure you eat it! I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong, even Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I... All right, Lucas. I mean, Klaus. Eat the apple. All right. Inside the apple, there was a hand file. Ah, so that's what he meant by it being hard. Use the hand file to break... Yeah, get out of here. The lock fell off, and the hand file became unusable. And we have some rather jolly sounding music playing, but... Flint. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Hinawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hinawa's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break into two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Wow, with this, with this pixelated aesthetic, these pixelated graphics on a GBA game, the way they portrayed Flint's grief is Incredible. This is a very strong start to a game. I mean, sure, we get the prologue, but then it's followed up with this, thinking that we're gonna have, like, a cute, happy, f tightly knit family, and it starts off with Hinawa getting killed by a Drago. It's sort of like the beginning of The Last of Us, where it is a misdirection, where you actually get hit with something else. Leader. Uh, and he's still as quiet as always. Mr. Flint. This was such a... <sighs> terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I've humbly prepared... A grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it now. But when the time comes, you'll be able to rest right beside her. It's a top-notch grave, it is. I don't want to be reminded of death just now. Dad, I thought you said anything could come true. As long as we prayed from the bottom of our hearts? Mom can't even punish me anymore now. I don't want it like this. Don't think of the punishments, think of the good times we had. He, she didn't even punish you for ramming into her, and she gave you nut bread. Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while, but I rushed straight here after I heard about Hinoa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. 
Say, come to think of it, where's Klaus? Is he not with you? He said he was gonna see you, but then he never came back. He said he would get stronger. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? No. Lucas, it's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Klaus went after that detestable Drago to try to... N no! He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go into the mountains and kill the Drago. Ah! It's a good thing you raised him to be honest, Flint. Does Klaus honestly think he a homemade knife could kill a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you stop him? Well, I said I wanted to go, but he said no, because he was going alone. So you just let him go? You fool! No. Oh. You scared him away. Maybe that was a little too harsh of me, Flint. It sounds like Klaus is headed into the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We're gonna need the proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight Dragos with, and then hurry to my place. Come get me at my house after you've gotten yourself a weapon. Do you remember where I live? If you don't, then have old Mapson mark on it. On your map for you. I think he's in the town square. Lucky for you, Isaac gave me a Drago Fang. And the music is happy and jolly, Alva now. We can forget happy things. We can forget sad things, too. People have the power to forget. This is my wife. All right, let's have maps and mark our map for us. It's at the very, very end. Oh, there you are, Flint. Good thing I waited. Flint, just take this and go. It's the Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce through the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Got the Drago Fang. I thought I already got it. Okay, well then, I realize this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Well, guess I'll head home and get back to work. Okay, we can't exactly equip the Drago Fang, but we have it. All right, let's get going. And it looks like we have some new enemies here. We have a praying mantis. And we just beat him in one hit. That was, uh, okay. I don't really have much commentary to say, all right? If it's a serious moment in a serious game, then I have to keep it quiet. We have to be respectful in terms of letting the game play out with its story. And there is a stronger focus on story in this game than there was in Earthbound. I mean, Earthbound did have a great emphasis on story, no doubt about that, but this one does have a larger emphasis on story than on gameplay. Not saying that the gameplay is bad, you do have the same turn-based combat as before, along with a rhythm system where, like I said before, you have to time your A presses to the music, but... That's not, there's no real easy way to do that. It is very difficult. It's hard to learn, hard to master, or maybe, no, it's easy to learn, but hard to master. That's what the combat system, in terms of the rhythm combat system is like. Uh, what is this? Squeak, squeak, squeak. The house I was secretly living in burnt down. Oh, he was just living in there the whole time. Uh, go. Oh, I, I went to the wrong direction. Okay, give me a second to go around. Wait, actually, I do not have to go all the way around. I just have to go to the... Okay, thank you, but I have no time for your stupid little conversation and your stupid little combo attacks. Wow, this guy actually has a bit of health. Are you gonna... Thank you. Okay, that's, that's all. All right, now we can go. 
You're probably wondering, why am I playing Mother 3 instead of Earthbound? And uh, the reason for that is because, one, Earthbound, the whole Mother series, all three of the games, they're all completely standalone adventures. Like, the Mother series is like one of those games that doesn't really... I mean, it does have an interconnected story, but it's not like extremely direct. Like, you can play each of the games and experience it for their own story. They have their own story, they have their own characters, and... But there are some things that do connect them all. Like, the villains. Why not, and you're probably wondering, why not play Earthbound? If that has a unique story, you might as well just cover that. Well, the thing is, Earthbound has already had significant coverage. It's been widely regarded as, like, the best, one of the best RPGs of all time. And as somebody who has played Earthbound, I can confirm it is a very well-made RPG. It does have flaws, and also because of Undertale, there has been a lot more exposure to, um... Earthbound, because Earthbound has been a very big influence for that game, and the influence is, like, very clear when you actually see, like, the enemy designs and how some of the writing was influenced, and oh, come on, man. Just run away. My, come on. Run away. Okay, there we go. Like, you could see the influence that Earthbound has had on games like Undertale, which has a very, very big following. Earthbound in general has had significant coverage in the gaming community, but I know I know it's still like a niche game and all that, but it does have significant coverage because of its influence on other games and how well crafted it is, but um not wasting food is a commendable thing, but that does make things a little harder for me. But the thing with uh, Mother 3 is that it doesn't really have the same coverage because Mother 3 has yet to have been localized, so that's why I wanted to cover Mother 3, because I want to show people just how special this game is. I want to spread the word. Um, but anyway, back to the game. We have to talk to Alec here. Oh, you made it! Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? It seems like one bit me right on my head, too. I've healed up perfectly, though. No, 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 none of that matters. I know where Claus might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Alec, join the party. Shouldn't you be leading the way, though? Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dis I'm not gonna comment on you not leading the pack. Flint. When I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought, What? I didn't you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard over there, for instance? We just go need to go we just need to go in the direction it tells us. Oh, it's an arrow lizard. Is that what it's called? Flint. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no friends, are known as the Majipsers. They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. All right, then. I am a lizard. Oh, that's actually what they're named. I am a lizard. I will show you the direction where you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. All right, we just gotta go back from where we came from. Whoo, okay. Come with me, Alec. I don't know if Alec is... Okay, so this, this guy just tells you where to go automatically. And down... Flint. I see you're not walking as fast now. It seems the word Majipsies has made you curious. The Majipsies have mysterious powers and have been protecting something for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. They are good-natured, though. All right, then. Thanks for that description, Alec. Are you gonna, are you gonna help me out in battle against this mischievous mole? Doo -doo 
Doo -doo. He's concerned about his lower back pain. Oh, uh, that's that's del Oh, you did attack. Thank you, Alec. For an old man, you do do help. And my inventory has become full already. Yeah, that's that's an issue. There is a limited inventory space of 16 items. You can only do 16 items? That's a shame, actually. Even even Paper Mario had that issue. That was 15. It's still a little bit better. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door had 15 items, but still, this, this is piddly, all right? This is not that good. Oh, what? Huh? But this tells me to go down, so... What is it? Is it... Well, let me see what's... Okay, there's ants on my feet over... Okay, maybe I can take on the Crag Lizard. Um, let's put a Power Smash on... Oh, tell me to be careful. Yeah, like, that's gonna help me beat him. This guy has a really strong defense. Um, bore down in it. Okay, yeah, this is... I regret fighting him immediately. This is, this is not good. He just took half of my health, just like that. Yikes. Uh, power smash, please, please, just... Oh, no. I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh, thank you for healing me up! I appreciate that. Oh my god, stop missing, please. Thank you for the herb. Okay, I'm not gonna you. He's probably gonna run out of herbs. I shouldn't trust him too much. He is he is pretty old. I'm not I I I take back what I said about him being old already. And he is worried about his back pain. I don't take it back. Okay. Stop missing the attack! This is, like, even worse than the boss battle. And as soon as I say that, I beat him. Never mind. Okay, that's all good now. But how the heck do we get it? Shut up! I'm out of here. Okay, this, this guy tells me something else. Frog. Wrong. I'm the wrong frog. Right, right, right! The right frog! Okay, then. So that's how it is. Hello, froggy friends. I think they're- oh, we already got that. Never mind. Are we, uh, are we headed in the right direction? Okay, yeah, it's not going down. You just you just have to ask them again for the directions All right, and there we go now. We're on the other side ribbit ribbit rabbit rabbit Okay And I think we save our game actually What is this? In the mood for a milking and I got fresh milk just like that you're good at that and 80 HP! Actually, I'm gonna use that right now. Alright, let's get over here. I'm not gonna talk to you, Sparrow. You're gonna waste me time. And what's going on over here? Is that Alec? It is, it is. Good to see you, Snookums. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude, eh? Yanya, introduce, to, introduce us. Of course, we're on my manners. This is my good friend Alec. And who's this with you? Flint, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now let's get you all properly introduced to us, the Magipsies. You're in luck, we're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have Aeolia, then there's Doria, Frugia, Lydia, and that one over there is Mixolydia. The only one not here is Locria. You can call me Eonia. Hmm, you can't remember all that? Of course not, that's why I introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? 
Right, Alec? It's been a while. I'm glad to see you're well. I hear you helped my grandson, Klaus. Do you know where he might have went? Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squirt from a while ago? Then I suppose this Flint fellow is his father. Hmm. Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You you have the same eyes. <laughs> okay. So what about Klaus? Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful PSI technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. So he left then. And you didn't stop him? What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you humans here one minute and gone the next. You poor th things barely live a hundred years, if that. That's the blink of an eye to us, my gypsies. Why would anybody bother to care about such short li- Well, that's rather ageist. Now, now, Meloxu, Mixolydia, Fergia. Humans worry about short lives, isn't that right, Alekipu? I understand how you feel, I really do. Well, that's why you gotta make the most of your short lives. I don't care if you understand, or not. Just tell us where Klaus went. The boy headed to the Drago Plateau, quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned for his own short little life. If you go now, you might just catch him in time. Drago Plateau, you say? Flynn, let's hurry there. Well, if he, he... You call him quite rambunctious? Flint. The quickest way to get to Drago Plateau is behind the cave. Klaus probably went the, through that cave too. There's nothing to worry about, Flint. But you're not gonna get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is... Smile. Understand? Yeah, I understand. You still seem pretty tense if you ask me. Well, I mean... How can I smile? My brother is in... My, my, not my brother. My son is in danger. Oh, and it's dark. Flint. It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through here many a time. Just leave it to me. But more importantly, that super serious look on your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? Keep going west at this fork in the road. West, okay. We go north here. Okay. Stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it, and then jump right down. This is the hole. And we're down. Flint, follow the southeast passage. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Ooh, Flinty Poo! That was my Majipsy impression. Did you like it? Relax, relax. Okay, then. <laughs> Uh, frick. Okay, not this guy. I don't have time for- Oh! I actually ran away successfully. Alright, beef jerky. That's helpful. I'll tell you this one early in advance. Head south at the next fork in the path. Here. And head west from here. But there's a chest right here. A running bo- You know what? Uh, let's see what I can throw away. Uh, I don't need the antidote. I can actually wait. I can get rid of this. I'm taking the running bomb with me. Because that's a bomb. That could be useful in battle. Wait. Was that you? Just kidding. It was... Oh, you old little man. Why do you gotta fart at a time like this in a deep, dark, wet hole, too? It probably doesn't smell good, and then you add that. We have some place to go. What? What? Are you kidding me? Sometimes that happens, where it, it attacks you, and then it gets the upper hand. It's when, it's when the mole attacks you from behind. That's when it gets the upper hand. But I was running across. Hold on a sec. I've been so forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? I'm pretty sure there's a vine to the north. 
We just need to find it and climb up it. Oh no, your memory is terrible. The vine is over here. I can tell. The fact that there's a vine here means that my directions now were just wrong. Sorry, want me to say a pun or something? North here, head north. Flinty pie. Don't be so embarrassed. We're as good as there now that we made it this far. Now we need to head upward and climb some vines. The vines go up because they're divine. Oh, come on, it's just a pun. Alec, I think you need to vine it down a little, all right? Your puns are not helping the investigation. Uh, oh, we're on the other side of this little pit. Let me check what's up here. We have a present. Beef jerky, that's nice. What the heck? Pigs! What are you doing here? And they ran away. What a bunch of wussies. The instant revitalization device fully revitalizes you. Hey. Hey, don't leave now. Come back! Come back, you pigs. Oh, come on. Don't freaking... Oh, <laughs> he slapped me awake. Okay, it's good. It's a good thing I have Alec here to wake me up whenever I fall asleep. I think I might need to... Oh, level 13. Okay, it's handing out level ups like Halloween can- How many beef jerkies do we need? Oh my god. We are stacked up on beef jerky. Alright, let's keep going up. Oh, what was the point of the bridges then? They really had the audacity to tease us with some bridges that don't even lead to any- Oh, it's a baby drago. Hey, what are you doing with that blue thingy? What's the meaning of this? And there he goes, jumping away. Alright, what, what's this? This is one of Klaus's favorite shoes. This belongs to Klaus. And that was a baby Drago just now. Klaus must be around here somewhere. Got a child shoot. Put some respect on the little boy's name. That's our son you're talking about. Say Klaus's shoe. Nut bread. Okay. I don't need the nut bread. I already have way too much beef jerky as of now. And these trees. I'm gonna. Okay, fine. I'll demonstrate this. You encountered a tree. It's just a bland old nor ordinary tree, and it just called for help. Yeah, I am being careful. Thank you, Alec. But, uh, for this one, you gotta be real, real fast. Because, uh, if you don't, if you're not fast, this guy will burst into flames just like that, and you will die. That's why you gotta mash through the text so that you don't die. Because the thing about Earthbound is that the HP count... All right, then. I'll, I'll just yap while I fight this tree. The HP count rolls the way- Oh, he called for help, and that's not fun. Smash! It's nice when you get that. It's satisfying to get a smash. Yeah, the thing about the HP is that it rolls down, so if somebody inflicts damage upon you that could kill you, you actually have a very short window to heal yourself back up which is actually quite nice. It spread its roots. This tree is not dying, and I took mortal damage. Please heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, and I died. And that was not very pleasant of me. Good thing I didn't use any items, because uh, if I did, then that would be a waste. <laughs> Screw you, tree. And my run button just decided to not cooperate with me. Get out of here. <sighs> Please run away. There we go. I don't really have that much commentary for this episode because this is a very story-heavy episode. There's a lot of dialogue, so... Uh, think of it more as, like, story time with Gaming Arth rather than, like, a traditional game. Alright, and I took more... I don't know why I wasn't mashing there, but I should have mashed. 
Run, run, run as fast as you can if you want to remain a gingerbread. Oh, it's another shoe. Uh, these shoes are not good, all right? It means it's Klaus's other shoe. Klaus, we're here to rescue you. Where are you? Uh-oh. It's a Mecha Drago. That doesn't look very friendly. What is that? That's... That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. When a child or somebody takes off their shoes, that means they're not coming back. And... We are about to enter a boss fight. The Mecha Drago suddenly attacked. Now, as our good friend Thomas said, use a Drago on a Drago. Flint grasped the Drago Fang tightly and pounced on the Mecha Drago. And just like that, it pierced through the Mecha Drago's tough hide. The Mecha Drago let out a howl. And he bellowed a war cry. How do you... Dodge a war cry. Okay. I'm gonna hit him with a power smash. And I missed. Alright. I'm gonna alternate between a regular hit and a power smash over and over again because chances are the thing is gonna miss way too much. Let's hit him with a running bomb. 75. Better than nothing. St Ouch. Okay. That's, that's not good. Power smash. SMASH! That's nice. That's satisfying. Thank you. Let's hit him with a bash. And then... Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna have him waste too many of my medicinal herbs, so I better eat up some food. Some baked yam. This guy, I think, has around 700 HP, so we're just gonna be chipping away at his health very slowly. And you just have to hope for the best, because, uh, we are doing piddly damage on him. Flint attacks. Ouch. And, uh, we are, we are, we are not doing really well. Ow. You know what? I'm about to toughen up, because I kind of need the defense and the offense here. Wow, that was nothing. Alright, uh, looks like he ran out of herbs, so I guess I'm on my own. Uh, yikes. And I'm gonna strengthen up too, so that my offense could be just a smidge bit. You know, Alec needs the offense way more than I do, because he's not doing well. 30, that's way better. Okay, that's good. He shot flames out. Yikes, okay. I have to I have to heal beef jerky. Get it! And there we go. See, that's how you heal up right before you die. Okay. There we go. We should be okay. I don't think we're gonna win this. Smash! With 150 HP. Dang. Great job. Okay. I'm running out of beef jerky, but hopefully we have enough to survive this. Ouch. Power smash. Smash! Uh, how much is that? I, I, I will eat the beef jerky anyways. There we go. Stomp with a giant... F Ouch! That was a... That was a piddly smash! That was a nothing burger of a smash. Oh, come on! You can do better! Uh, just get the beef jerky. That's our last beef jerky. We just hope that we actually get this dude. Attack. Stomp with the jump. Oh, God. I am at a desperate, desperate time right now. Just power smash him. Yes! Okay. Tried one last attack. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, come on, come on. Oh, and he's dead. We got him. We got him. It's all good. There we go. You win. 486 experience points. 
We just barely won by a hair there. Wow. That was close. Did Alec just die? He's not dead. He's, he's fine. He's good. He's chilling. Look at there. There we go. We beat you. And he's fallen. Oh, the baby Drago. That's not your mom anymore, though. Flint! Don't do it! That won't solve anything! You'll only make its child go through what Klaus and Lucas had to! That's... That's true, honestly. <laughs> we already lo- Uh-oh! We made the Drago mad. Uh, don't, don't make me fight him. I, I'm at 10 HP right now. Oh, he's crying. Klaus, no! It is possible that until now, the people of Tazmili Village had never known sadness. On sunny days and on cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who had would share with those who had not. However, it now appears the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion and why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people, like Flint, have even had their families torn apart. Just what was this suspicious group that wears pig masks? What are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing clouds be? The mysteries continue to pile up. And so the tale begins as a tragedy. Klaus is not okay. He's there just lying. Lifeless. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record? Okay. And that marks the end of the prologue and chapter one today. So thank you all so much for joining me. Next time on Mother 3, we will be covering Chapter 2, and yes, I plan to cover each chapter in one full episode. It is going to be longer than the average episode, like it's going to clock in around one or two hours, but I have a feeling that it's all going to be worth it. And uh, Chapter 6, I might have to split into two parts because I've heard that chapter is about twice as long as the other chapters, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. So thank you so much for sticking around, and I will see you next time. Peace out, folks.